Megan. Today I want to talk to you about a possible, <coughs> excuse me, upcoming recession. If you've been reading the financial and economic news lately, you've seen that many pundits are predicting an economic downturn or possibly even a recession in the next 6 to 24 months. Such things as the U.S. trade war with China, escalating tensions between Western nations in Iran and North Korea, the Hong Kong uprisings, and also because there were 33 business cycles in the U.S. between 1854 and 2009. This is based on the National Bureau of Economic Research. <clears throat> Excuse me. And now the U.S. Federal Reserve is pumping $75 billion a day into the market. The average length of growing economy is 38.7 months or 3.2 years. The average recession lasts for 17 and a half months or one and a half years. A full business cycle on average is 4.7 years, taking the two of them into account. The longest contraction, of course, the recession on record was the Great Depression in 1929, and it lasted 3.6 years, although the effects of it were much longer. The second largest recession was the Great Recession in the U.S., just recently in 2007, and it lasted 18 months, one and a half years. As of today, we've artificially extended our expansion or economic boom for a total of just over 10 years. And we've also got a huge real estate bubble in many Western cities. With all that said, it looks like we are heading into at least a downturn and possibly a recession in the next 6 to 18 months. <coughs> Excuse me. As you know, when a downturn, <coughs> excuse me, a recession occurs, many companies stop buying. They run out of money because companies stop buying their products and services. Are you prepared? I put together for you nine business strategies for tough economic times. It will be delivering them to you in my video series over the next few days. To get started, here are the first two strategies you should consider. Number one, reactivate dormant accounts. Contact a past client one you're not actively working for now, and get them to do business with you again. Call them. Say hello and see what's going on. Let them know you're interested in working with them without putting undue pressure on them to give you an order right then and there. But do keep in touch with them. On average, you could expect one assignment for every 10 calls you make. Pretty good, I would say. Number two, reactivate old leads. As you know, about 80% of B2B sales are made on or after the fifth sales call, but only about 10% of salespeople call beyond three times. The best way to reactivate these old leads is to call them. Ask whether they got your material, whether they have an immediate or future need, or what the status of that need is. Again, there's a good chance one or two out of the ten will come through with an order. I'd say those odds are pretty good, wouldn't you? So get ready for the next recession by implementing these two strategies and stay tuned for the next two strategies in a couple of days. And you can start by downloading the free report below I have left for you. Thanks again, and until next time.